So this is a short practice for posture, um, especially for one of my clients who is postnatal and also has a condition where um, her body is taking, is not releasing spinal fluid the way it should. So we have to be careful with some forward movement. Um, there's a lot of precautions here that we're gonna take. We're gonna be mindful of C-section, of any kind of pelvic discomfort, uh, she's having a lot of back pain, which exacerbates the problem. So this is just a short video to help release some of that. Now, anything that hurts, we don't want to do it. In this particular case with pseudotumor, um, we want to make sure that if there's any kind of dizziness, uh, vision blurriness, pain, uh, discomfort in the jaw, that you stop immediately what you're doing and go on to the next posture, don't do anything that hurts or causes any symptoms whatsoever. So we're going to start first by taking three full rounds of breath, hands to your heart, inhale, arms up, take up lots of space, big breath in, exhale down, inhale up, big breath in, exhale down. It takes eight muscles to stretch the intercostals, so it's this is really good for stretching eight muscles in the torso and back. Exhale down. Good. Hands on your lap. Roll your shoulders back and down. Inhale, lift up through the crown of your head. My feet are in the number 11. Exhale, shoulders back and down. Elongate the neck. Breathing in, full diaphragmatic breathing. Exhale, shoulders back and down. Good. Now, be mindful of any, any symptoms here of what you should and shouldn't do. Breathing in, we lift up. On the exhale, we take the head to the right. And it's very gentle. There's no force. The shoulders are back. Inhale back to center. Exhale to the other side. Excuse me. I'm getting over the flu. Breathe. Inhale up, exhale, look over the right shoulder and hold. Now when you do these on your own, this is purely instructional for you to do these on your own. Inhale back to center, exhale to the other side. Hold them for up to a minute and that will help increase the benefits of the posture. Inhale back to center. You can just choose one or two at any time to do. You don't have to do the whole thing. Inhale up, big breath in. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. I'm mainly trying to get synovial fluid moving in your system, palms together. Inhale, open, and I'm going way back. Exhale, close. We're trying to counteract the rounding in the spine. Inhale, open. Exhale, close. You'll notice even my fingers are stretching. Inhale, open, and I'm from the spine to the fingers. Exhale, close. Good. Taking it down, we're going to go up again. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. Now we're going to find some movement in the elbows. Inhale out, exhale open, and just take the elbows, chest, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. I'm trying to get all your joints. Good. Take it down. So we've done neck, shoulders, elbows. Now we're going to do wrist and fingers. Take your hands out. Big breath in. Exhale. I call this the hula girl or guys, depending on who I'm working with. And then we do the other side. And then we just kind of squeeze and stretch, squeeze and stretch, squeeze and stretch. Good. Now we're going to do the spinal column. And in this particular instance, you don't want to crank your head too far up. And certainly with the um, pressure in the spine, you don't want to look down. If you're watching this and you don't have any conditions at all that would prohibit you from looking down, then by all means do it. Inhale, my hands are on my lap. Inhale, lift through the chest as if a string were attached to my sternum pulling me forward. And I'm looking 
I'm looking at the middle pane of my window. And then I'm gonna exhale, and I'm gonna round through my shoulders, but I'm keeping my gaze forward and just slightly, chin is ever so slightly touched, not much at all. And I could keep it forward if, if there were any discomfort. Okay, inhale, lift, shoulder blades squeeze together, look back, sternum's coming forward. This is good for your thymus and it helps make T-cells. Exhale, round, it helps your lymphatic system. You got a big, long lymphatic gland that runs right down the center. Breathe, inhale, lift, exhale, round. Now again, you gotta be mindful of any kind of com discomfort. Um, feet are on the floor, hands together. Inhale, arms up, big breath in. Now we're gonna exhale and take the right hand down and the left arm over. You might wanna um, just be mindful that you have checked, not might, you should check with your doctor first and make sure that you're clear to do any movement, but these are like really gentle. Good. Inhale up, exhale to the other side. Breathe. Just go until like two o'clock or 11 o'clock. Inhale up, if you had a clock in front of you. Exhale, take the right hand to the chair, the left hand across. Now we're not gonna do any deep thoracic movements, just the shoulders and upper body. If it hurts, stop, breathe in. Exhale, look to the wall. This is not a full twist. And breathe. Make sure your shoulders are back rather than rounding because that'll exacerbate the problem. You wanna have them back. Then we're coming back to center. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, down. Roll your shoulders back and down. And if for any reason anyone watching this has high blood pressure, then instead of bringing your arms above your head, just bring your arms to um, chest level. I'll show you how to do that. You would inhale and just go here instead of here. So be here and then exhale down. Good, okay. We're gonna avoid anything from the navel um, to the thighs right now. So I don't think you can see really good here, um, but you're just gonna take your legs out and yes, I have my shoes on. You're gonna take your legs out, and but it's not gonna go high. It's gonna be level, all right? And just, you stay forward. You don't have to turn to your side. So, um, sorry, I got all kinds of itchy from having the flu. Take your leg out. You're gonna flex and point. Now, my leg is too high right now. I'm just doing this to show you. Flex and point, and then you're gonna circle your ankles. You can do one leg at a time, then do the opposite, or both. This helps with, um, you have all these lymph glands in your ankles. We have lymph glands throughout our body, but we have quite a lot in our neck, under our arm, in our torso, and then one big one. This helps with lymph congestion and edema. So, you know, moving the leg, and you keep your legs straighter on the floor, it's gonna help quite a bit with that, okay? Now, eventually, you can bring your knee up and hold your thigh, and that's gonna help release any kind of low back tension right here and pulling in, but that may be too much right now. And breathe. And you wanna do both sides, so make sure that when um, you do this again, that when you're doing the legs, you're just doing both sides at the same time. Um, as far as having them out, pointing, flexing, and circling, you're gonna point, flex, circle both ways, and you can do crazy feet, that's for your cognitive ability especially you new mamas. It's like when you have the baby, I think half our brains get taken out with it. Um, for a while anyway, it comes back, good news. I have four kids, so I can attest. Um, flex and point, and then circle, circle, and then one knee at a time on the knee lifts after there's some healing. But that helps with all that low back pain. Okay, coming around to the front. That was a little disjointed, but hopefully you got the picture and my main purpose is to show people how to do things on their own I'm a facilitator of teaching people how to have their own practice I don't want my clients dependent on me being there to practice so gentle chair exercises um, when I had my children back in the early 90s there was a DVD set called a and PM yoga by Rodney Yee and Patricia Walton if you can still find that DVD set, I don't, or maybe get a download, 
I forget hardly anybody uses DVDs anymore. Um, that's a really good, especially the AM yoga. I did those two DVDs every at least three days a week. And then I had another one that I did until my kids were pretty old for like 10 years. So those are great. They're 14 minutes long. You can do it while the baby's asleep. Forget the dishes, take care of yourself. And um, also, that's another good point. After you have a baby, take care of yourself. Take naps when the baby naps if you can. I know you can't always, but that will help you recover so much better. We are going to do a really short meditation. I had said that we would do a yoga nidra, but that's gonna take too long, and I'm gonna encourage you um, to get on. It's, it's hard to get the download if I do a really long video on YouTube. Get on Insight Timer on your phone. It's a free app. And do those meditations on your own. They have them from one minute to hours. And while you're holding your baby, you're nursing, listen to those meditations. It's going to help increase your milk production as well. Um, it's going to only enhance the release of hormones that are, they call it relaxing, but um, I don't know if that's the real name of the I'm always can't remember if it's pitocin, oxytocin, relax, and what hormone is happens when you nurse. But um, you know that's just going to increase the benefits of your meditation. So definitely do that after you do your exercises. Don't get hung up in having to do an hour practice. You know a little bit every day to take care of yourself. All right, we're going to do a little brief meditation. Close your eyes. Sit back. Big breath in. Exhale and soften the skin of your scalp. Allow the muscles on your face to release. Breathe in through your nose. Out through your nose or mouth. Release your jaw. Soften your tongue. Feel the length in your neck and the back of your neck. Breathe into your belly, your ribs, and your chest. Exhale, allow your shoulders to soften, collarbones wide, belly softens. Elbows hang underneath your shoulders. Allow your hips and legs to relax. Turn your palms up, fingers curled. Breathe into your whole body, expanding into your whole body, into the space right around you. And as you exhale, feel your body soften and allow a sense of ease to move over your thighs, your knees, your calves, your ankles, your feet. And just notice your feet on the ground. Your feet on the ground allows you to feel grounded. Sometimes the world feels like it's spinning out of control and just touching the ground or going out in nature helps to bring us back into reality, helps us get literally grounded. Feet on the floor, now lift through your head. Spine is gonna be tall, big breath in. Exhale, shoulders back and down. Visualize yourself fully standing into your full power and potential. Tall, chest lifted, shoulders back, smile on your face. Maybe even in this vision of yourself, you see the sun on your face. See yourself radiant, beautiful, vibrant, healthy. See yourself how you want to feel and imagine. It is so label that feeling maybe it's happy strong vibrant and then say it to yourself in a positive present statement in your mind i am vibrant i am healthy i am strong whatever it is to yourself three times now Breathing in 
Fill your body with your breath. Notice your lungs on the inside as they expand from side to side, front to back, up and down. And as you exhale, feel your lungs soften. Notice your physical body. Notice your posture. Feel your muscles against your bones, your clothes against your skin, the crown of your head lifted. Bring your hands together at the center. Inhale, arms up, take up space. Big breath in, keeping your eyes closed. Exhale, bring your hands back to center. And the love and light in me sees and honors the love and light in you. Namaste. You may open your eyes. I hope that was a helpful little practice. Use it for instructional purposes or fast forward through the parts where I'm yammering along. Um, I tend to be a chatty, a chatty girl. So um, look at the parts that help you and utilize those in your daily life. Remember, this is a time of your life that you only get with this child one time. Have a lot of self-compassion. You need to be healthy and well cared for. But little things like drinking that extra glass of water, eating that extra serving of vegetables or fruit, taking a little stroll around the house in the beginning and eventually around the, sun, the block in the sunshine are all going to contribute to your health. So just know that right now, this first week or so, is hard. And, um, you know, you got to listen to your body. I was sick with the flu last week, and I recognize that, you know, sometimes our best isn't great. It's when we're sick or when we are going through a lot. So as you start to feel better, you'll get more active. Alrighty, well, take care, and I wish you well. Bye.